For every law in the United States, some organization investigates people suspected of breaking the law. When it comes to healthcare fraud, the federal government has a few agencies to help catch these criminals. These agencies include the Department of Justice, DOJ, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, or the FBI, the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the HHS's Office of Inspector General, or HHS-OIG. All of these organizations conduct many investigations across the U.S. to catch healthcare fraud before it negatively affects patients' lives. Hi everyone, I'm Elliot from eTactics, and today I'm going to discuss eight healthcare fraud investigation statistics. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also, hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The federal government won and or negotiated more than $5 billion in healthcare fraud judgments, settlements, and other healthcare administrative impositions in 2021. The DOJ opened 831 new criminal cases and 805 new civil healthcare fraud investigations in 2021. A year prior, they opened up 1,148 criminal and 179 civil healthcare fraud investigations. The FBI opened 593 new healthcare fraud investigations in 2021. The same year, the FBI investigations disrupted over 559 criminal fraud organizations. They subsequently dismantled the crime hierarchy of 107 healthcare fraud criminal enterprises. As you can see from the healthcare fraud statistics I just mentioned, the situation is grim. So many healthcare entities break the law and commit medical fraud. There is so much fraud going on that there are four separate governmental organizations committed to taking down these criminals. Healthcare entities must check their books and their prescription notes. All staff must be accountable for their actions to identify the fraud before it creates a serious negative impact. If you'd like to learn more about healthcare fraud and what it might look like, reach out to eTactics. And you've already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.